Hey everybody, just wanted to take a couple minutes out of my busy day to talk to you about gated lessons. So here's why you might be interested in gated lessons. If you're setting up a course and you wanna be able to require that students have finished all of the work from one lesson before they move on to the next one, gated lessons are for you. Another value there is that this also allows you to create lessons that can be completely self-paced. So you can open up all the lessons to students at once, but then require them to complete the lessons in sequence. As far as roles required go, users who are set as faculty or teaching assistant on a course would be able to do that on any course that they're set up on. And then um, users with the academic admin or registrar roles would be able to do this across all courses. With this one, we're making sure that students have completed all of their weekly work on one lesson before they move on to next week's work. To set that on the course, we'll just go to the course and then to the lessons tab. And then you'll see the way that this is set up. We've got all those lessons already created there and then they move week by week. So there's that date component already in place there for these lessons. We don't need to set anything on the first lesson. The gates will start with the second lesson. So we'll click on the three stack dots for the second lesson, click edit availability, and then check the box for after the previous lesson is completed. So now, once the required work on lesson one is completed, students will be able to move on to lesson two. What we then do is just go ahead and set that for the other ones. Now with those all in place, students have to do the required work in order to move on. But an important thing that we need to look at is what we mean by required work on a lesson. If you've worked with lessons before, this will be obvious, but we'll just go real quickly look at lesson one. And you can see that all of these items here are showing up as required. If we go under design and then click to add an assignment, you can see that that option comes up as available, requires students to complete this assignment as you're creating that assignment there. So we'll check the box for yes and then save. And now all of these items are required before students move on. Okay, let's look at how you would set this up just using gates. It's very simple. This is the situation where you want to create a fully self-paced course. So there's no date element involved in this at all. Pretty much everything that we've already seen about using dated lessons with gates still applies here. But the one difference is that we're gonna go in and we're going to click the three stack dots for these lessons, we're gonna make the availability on the course open to students date. So everything is available at that point and then leave that checked or check it depending on where you're at in the process. And then we'll just do that for all of those. And then with all of those lessons set to be available on the course open to students date, students have to finish all the required work from each lesson before moving on. So they have to finish everything required on lesson one. If we're moving to lesson two, everything required on lesson two before moving to lesson three, and so on. So this course is now fully self-paced. As you have students working through lessons, it's nice to be able to get an overview of where everybody's at. And you can do that really easily by clicking on the student progress tab. When we do that, we can see a number of students have finished lesson one, some have moved all the way on to the end there and some have work yet to do. So if we go down and just hover over any of those lessons, we can see that this student, for instance, has 50% to complete. We can go down further here. This student has 33% of their work completed and um, the rest still to do. That's an easy way of keeping track and just getting an overview of where students are. From time to time, an instructor may um, use their judgment to decide that they're going to allow a student to move forward without completing an assignment. Perhaps they're just forgiving them that particular assignment, but the student still needs to move on. So you need to know how to edit completion. To do that, 
We're here on the student progress tab. You can see that this student still has 50% of the requirements to complete. So we're going to edit completion for this student. To do that, I'll click the name of the student. That brings us to the student's roster tab. And then we've got the lessons tab there. We'll then come over to the percent completed column and you, you can see that these are clickable. So if I click on that 50% there and then choose edit completion, I can tick the box for structuring an exhortation and then save that. And now when we go back to the student progress tab, we'll see that that student is now fully complete and can move on to the next lesson there. Okay, so that's gated lessons for dates and gates or just the gates by themselves, for weekly lessons or for fully self-paced students. We also looked at viewing student progress on lessons and then editing completions. Thanks for watching everybody. I'm Josh from Populi. Go ahead and hit subscribe um, and then you'll get a little notifications bell. Click that and you'll be notified um, whenever we post a new video on our channel. Ding, ding, ding. Go ahead and click that like button. Who could it hurt? Also, you can check us out on um, our various social media platforms. You'll find those links in the description below. Bye.